hi guys welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel please subscribe to this channel by the way don't forget to hit on the bell icon because it will be the only way that you'll be updated when i upload a new video for returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you are new to this channel this is the right place thank you so much coming please consider subscribing and supporting this channel in today's video we are going here to see to look at another interesting part of changing jobs in Qatar. Remember? Is it very easy to change jobs in Qatar? And what are the procedures? Who is eligible to change jobs in Qatar? That was a question that was coming from a point of interest from one of the subscribers. Yes. Remember, most of these Gulf countries, they have what you call the labor laws. And we are talking about the labor laws. We are talking about especially for people that come to these countries to do the work. Yes, each labor laws in these Gulf countries or Middle Eastern countries have what you call articles that split or that articles that talk about what should be done. So most of the time, at times, it's also your responsibility for you to find out what exactly is needed. Yes, recently, we had an elevation of uh, new policies in Qatar, where the kafil attachment was got out of, of the system, that you can freely now change the job to a new employer without needing an NOC or without even needing the approval of your former employer. But again, the question is, uh, is it very easy to change job in Qatar? What are the procedures? And who is eligible to change from one sponsor to another or from one job to another? From the security to a cleaner, from a cleaner to security. That is very important. It's a point of interest that you need to take into account as you are planning. Yes, for the first question, I'll first look at the people who are coming in Qatar for your first time that is coming in Qatar. Remember? Let us look at, since here let us look at this individual who, ha, who is being recruited by a company or sponsor. And this, this, this person is in the country for only three months. And this person wants to change job. Do you think this person is eligible? To your point of judgment. Do you think this person is eligible for that? Oh, do you advise this person to change from the one job to another because he has seen one job that is a little bit better than what he expected or than what he agreed upon in the contract coming from this country? Yes, the question remains in your heart to think about it. But remember, much as you are trying to think about that, changing because of the low money that you see, because of the poor working conditions you're seeing right now, or because of the poor accommodation and poor transport system, you're already only three months in the company. What about this person who recruited you, or this person who gave you the visa from your home country? That is also something to consider. Remember, as you're thinking of changing a job from one job to another, first thing, first to remember, what is your contract that you sign? Was it a limited contract? Was it an open contract? Was it a contract that was supposed to be made or completed after a given period of time? Then you can change according to your employer. That is very important. Yes, much of these labor laws, much as you have the rights, but there are also the employers that recruit you or your sponsors have some rights that you also need to know before you start out the procedure, before you think about something that to do as you portray to the next step. Yes, you can change the jobs. Yes, but remember, look at the contract that you sign. Is it an open-ended contract? Is it a limited contract? Or look at, at some of the clauses. That's why I keep on telling people, be very careful as you're signing those contracts. Read through that contract. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't be in a hurry. Read through that contract. Find out what are the small things in that contract. What you don't understand, try to ask. We have Google. Just get on the Google scroll that try to search what does this word mean in case it is being included in your contract that you really feel that like you don't understand. Just get into that word. Find out the meaning before you can sign. Because remember, you may come 
the you're being recruited and you're being given 1000 kataria you come into the country after three months you find other good opportunities that are more than 1000 that they are willing to take you up for the new uh, for, for the new employer he will give you the offer letter he has no problem but he will tell you you have must be permitted or you must be allowed by your former employer but if it will be in your shoes to my 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 own to my own experience if you come in the country and you already not already finished the probation period brother and my sister first wait first be a little bit patient first finish up the probation period first finish up those six months of the probation period in Qatar then you can think of changing but again it is also not mandatory but that the Ministry of Labor or the Adalasa system will accept you to change. No. They may not consider you. They may revoke you. They may revoke your application. Why? Because you've not even completed one year of your visa. You've not completed one year of working with that person who recruited you from your company. This person who recruited you has not yet benefited anything out of you. And you might find that in another instance, the contract, the contrary, there are clauses in the contract that deter you to move to another company. That is very important. That is why a not I keep on telling people who are planning to change to a new company. Know the line of the company you are going to. It is really normally very hard for you to change from one company to a competing company. For example, you're moving from a security company and you're joining a security company. Normally, some of the contracts, they have what we call a non-competing clause. What do we mean by a non-competing clause? That you cannot go to what we call a revival or the same competing company. That's what happens. So you still need to be very careful, need very careful. Yes, well and good. If you have finished your contract, let's say you had a contract of two years and you wish not to move on with that employer, you can change. It is quite very easy. You can go get a job. That new employer will give you what you call a job offer. When he gives you a job offer, you will direct to resign to your company. But remember, you need to know the notice period we are supposed to give your former company as you resign. If you are one year, less than one year, it is normally one month that you give. It is more than one year, then you have to give your company two months of notice period. Putting in consideration that the notice period also is applicable. Yes, after that, you can forward your papers to your new employer everything will be sorted, the work will now be a little bit easier for even the new employer who is recruiting you now. But again, it's very important to look at the contract itself. If for, the, for example, the contract you are supposed to give to finish up a given period of time, first finish up that period before you can think of changing. Do not panic because you've seen other people or because you've seen the neighbor next to you is earning more money in, uh, in where he is and you're earning less than and you, uh, you, you have the same skills or you have even more skills than him and you think you can just jump up just like that. It's not that way you expected. Many people have been revoked. Their applications have been revoked, gotten too much hard time. Every time the, 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 the employer has been rejecting, rejecting their applications. Why? There must be something that is missing. So before you plan or before you think of changing that from one employer to another, yes, be first take that little time, finish up the contract as you make research. You know where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to have. That is quite very, very, very important. It is something that people keep on jumping, but you really need to take it very serious. Remember, it's all not only giving yourself the ease to transfer, but also giving the ease to that person who is giving you the new job to transfer your papers without reflection or without even a hard hassle for you to change to that company. Yes, to some clauses, 
if you finish up probation depending on what kind of agreement or what kind of agreement contract you sign with the company some will accept you to change yes but remember some instances where the company is liquidating or is getting out of business then it can give you that if you finish your, your contract let's say you had the limited contract of two years you finish your contract yes you're allowed by law you're allowed to change if you get someone who is giving a little bit better who is giving a better offer better salary you can change if you are unlimited let's say five years you've limited you you've done with your contract you are you're eligible to change so meaning that in those situations you are eligible to change but where are situations where you are not eligible to change from one job to another you are just in new in the company you've not finished up your probation period you are breaching what was agreed upon in the contract then contrary you're not going to be allowed to be to change from one company to another and remember it is much easier for you to change when you're in the country than you changing when you're outside the country i think most of you know that people who be, people who know what's happening is 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 much cheaper to change from here and easier than you getting out but if you say you want to, to resign before even finishing your probation period and you want to change to another company remember that employer that recruited you from your company has rights what do you think this person is going to do let's say for example you put yourself in that kind of shoes what is going to happen he injected in a lot of money in you so he expects to first get out of you so if he thinks you are making things hard he will not be able bearingly to wait rules so what he do he will take you back to your country you will have to chase everything as coming back as new so uh, my brothers and sisters i think that's what i wanted to share with you yes you can share but you can change but wait when you are eligible first finish up the probation period look at your contract what is your contract say the contract is very important most of us we sign contracts we are rushing because we are so eager but we don't know the clauses after time gets we are being tied up in the clauses we are being tied up in the clauses of the contract we cannot move and yet we are seeing good things ahead of us we are seeing good opportunities ahead of us but patience is always very important also so finish up go then you can freely move and move to another new company without a hassle at one way or the other remember now you do not need to have an noc a no objection certificate you only need to have what you call a resignation that is being accepted and to some instance to some situations if you've completed up all your time your period your contract even if you don't need what you call approval of your employer so long as the minister of labor the adalas system application will be accepted and notification will be sent to him he has no way out to release you because he does not owe anything from you unless you try to breach the contract away from him thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it's max from the next creation if you are new please consider subscribing and supporting this channel see you again in the next video